Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to Behind the Beat. My name is Chris Langan. Thanks for tuning in today. I've got a great lesson for you. What we're going to be doing today is a practice pad warm-up. Okay, this is something that I came up with for my students. It's usually the first thing we do when they first come in for their lesson. Um, each week we try to bump up the BPMs and uh, see how fast they can get it. But we never increase the speed if the control is not there. So that's one thing you want to make sure that you have down before you try to increase the speed. All right. This is a beginner, maybe early intermediate warm up. There's nothing too crazy. We've got some eighth notes, some broken 16th note patterns, uh, some triplets and some doubles. OK, so what I'm going to do is uh, put the metronome on at 100 beats per minute. I think this is kind of a middle of the road tempo. If you find it to be too fast, you know, just slow it down. Um, I'm going to have the notation below so you can follow along. Um, if you want to, you know, if, if you find this is too fast, just put the video on mute. Get your own metronome going at the speed that's comfortable for you, and then just follow along with the notation. All right? I'm going to guide you guys through verbally as well. So get your sticks and your practice pad. Here we go. All right, we're going to start off with hand-to-hand um, -hand eighth notes. We're going to do eight on a hand, we're going to go down to seven, and then we're going to do six on a hand, then five, all the way down until we're playing regular eighth notes, okay? And then uh, I'll guide you from there. Here we go. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, eighth notes. Okay. If uh if you're finding that was a little confusing, just pause the video, rewind, and go through it again now that you know exactly how we're doing it. Okay, we're just gonna hang out on eighth notes here for a minute. Nice, even strokes. Watch your stick height. You want your hands to uh, pretty much mirror the, each other. One and two and three and four and. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into some broken 16th note patterns. We're going to do one end up. All right, now you want to make sure you're switching lead hands on this. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. One, two, ready, go. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. Okay, so right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a. Okay, the next exercise is going to be one and. One, two, ready, go. One and, two and, three and, four and. One and, two and, three and, four and. Righty and, lefty and, righty and, lefty and. Righty and, lefty and, righty and, lefty and.
Okay, guys, the next exercise is going to be straight 16th notes. One, two. One, two, ready, go. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. If you want, you can always you can always uh, place accents in different spots. Okay, place it on the one, place it on the e. For right now, we're just doing uh, straight even sixteenth notes. Okay, one e and a two e and a three e and a four. them nice and even. We don't want to sound like we're galloping. Watch your stick heights. Make sure your hands are a mirror image of each other. Okay, guys, the next exercise is going to be eighth note triplets. Okay. One, two. One, two, ready, go. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. 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 Right. Okay, guys, the next exercise is going to be eighth notes, but we're going to play doubles, okay? <clears throat> one, two, one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right, right, left, left, right, right, left. You want your doubles to sound like singles. If I were to close my eyes and you were playing, I wouldn't be able to tell whether you were playing singles or doubles. Okay? So that's what you want to aim for with doubles. All right, guys, finally, to wrap up this warm up, we're just going to shift it up to 16th notes. Doubles. Okay? One, two, one, two, ready, go. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a righty, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, righty and a left. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Can't say it that fast.
One, two, one, two, ready, go, out. All right, guys. Hopefully you were playing along with me on that one. It's, it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty basic. Uh, I think it covers all the bases as far as, you know, a warm-up goes. You know, you got your doubles in there. You got your singles. You got your triplets. And um, you got your broken 16th note pattern. So I think it covers all the bases pretty much. Um, I do have other warm-ups that I do for some of my more advanced students that uh, involve a lot more of the rudiments. But for a beginner, you know, early intermediate drummer, this is a really good warm-up just to get the, get the blood flowing, all right? So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. You know, take five minutes a day before you get to, uh, sit down to play and run through this warm-up, okay? Um, make sure, if you have any questions uh, or concerns, comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you following us here. Uh, find me at chrislangendrummer.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel here, I do have a Patreon page as well. All right. So until next time, guys, we will see you at the next lesson.